Okay, we're live. It's James speaking. Um, you've got some videos, hopefully some YouTube videos. You want to create a course, but you're kind of stuck because you're going, oh man, that's an awful lot of work. Well, what I want to show you in this video is a live example of what one of the training sites.io members did with their YouTube videos. They created a super powerful course quickly from their existing content without having to create a bunch of new content. So if you haven't seen any of this before, uh, one of the things that I did is I actually put together a, a full course on this. And I think it's here. I'll show you on the campus. If you haven't already joined, make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join the community there. All of these are free for you. And this is exactly um, what Tofe did is she said, you know what? I want to create a course quickly. What do I do? And she went and she looked in the bottom of the screen here where it says turn YouTube videos into courses. Uh, and this has got nine lessons in it. I just put it up. So she went and opened it up and she said, hey, let's take a look and see how I can do this. So here's the strategy. If I haven't, uh, if you haven't seen that previous video, I'll put the link below so you can actually see the original video of this. And this course is free to you when you join the campus. But basically, it's a simple strategy where you take a look at your YouTube videos, you organize them by category in a logical progression, and then you use some AI tools to expand on the content and then put it in a course. So this is exactly what she did with her YouTube channels or YouTube content. So she is, and this is, you know, this is one of the reasons that I spend a lot of time saying, create YouTube videos, please create YouTube videos. Even if they're not great, start playing and adding them or at least practicing with them and don't make them public but have them as content to get going with them. And I think, you know, personally for me, it's, uh, I use the money ball analogy, you want to get on base. And the more times that you're at bat, the more chances you have to get on base. It's not about hitting a home run. Every single time you post something on YouTube, it's about getting on base. So she's got the opportunity here to get on base. She's now got 2,200 subscribers. 200 videos that she's been doing and she's had some really really good ones and they're usually about how to deal with adult children now she is a christians women's campus where she uh, helps christian women who are either having trouble in their marriage or having trouble with uh, adult children and what she did she said you know what i better go and look at these videos and see if i can repurpose them and put them into my campus and that's exactly what she did so I'll just show you what happened here. Again, this is a live example from her campus. And if you're unfamiliar with a privately branded campus, this particular one is a service called heartbeat.chat. I'll put the links below. This is similar to Circle uh, as some, or some of the other ones that are more about creating a community and courses uh, and having a membership and around that and discussions, that kind of thing. So this is a real easy, simple campus to build if you want to use a third-party service and what she did is she put together her course and it's praying the scriptures powerful prayers for adult children so i'm just going to open this up and she's uh, put this together and again it's not published yet but if you look on the screen here you'll see welcome and introduction lesson one lesson two lesson three lesson four application and case study and course wrap up and next steps so here's a particular case where what I was teaching or asking people to do is to do some kind of introduction, which is doing things like welcoming people to the course, explaining why it's important to them, letting them know what they're going to get at the start and also at the finish that they continue through. And this can either be done in text or I recommend basically a simple message, just talking to your smartphone if that happens to be uh, the easiest way for you to do it. And then all she did is she said, you know what? I have these four videos that are about dealing with adult children. Um, what would be a good order for them? And if you don't recognize it right away, don't be afraid to use ChatGPT or some of the tools, for example, like Notebook, where you can upload your videos and just ask it, which of these are uh, uh, relate to each other and create a logical order that I could put them together to provide an outcome or transformation. She picked four specific videos on YouTube and then she put them together. Now I'm going to show you what happens here because this is kind of neat. And this is what she did. So this is a YouTube video she's put in as a course. And some people might say, hey, James, that's fine, but I can go watch a YouTube video. 
yeah, you can. Absolutely could go watch it. Now, she has 200 videos, and if you're just someone that happens to get into her channel and start taking them, they're not all in a logical sequenced order. They might be in a playlist, but it's not put together, and there's basically the video, and that's it. So the whole idea here is that once you have the video, you can expand or extract the information, for example, taking the transcript of it, or maybe even using the new Gemini uh, 2.0 Flash and basically have it do a little bit of a critique or supplemental information, and you can ask questions about the video that was created, but you can use an AI tool to give you ideas and then personally go through, supplement what you get from any of the AI tools like ChatGPT or Claude or Notebook to make it your own and authentic, add to what you get, and basically create key concepts, points, reflection questions, even a worksheet. This material you do not get on YouTube, and it is a uh, additional reference material that teaches something and supplements the video that's done. So she basically put four of those together, right? So she's got four of them together, and then at the end, what she did is she said, let's do an application or case study. Doesn't have to be a video, but it says, hey, we've got this four steps, this is the process, this is how you actually use it, and go out and do some work. And here's someone else that did it, and this is the uh, result that they got. And then a course wrap up and next steps. So she put this together, it's ready to go now, I think it gets published tomorrow, but she's in a unique situation when she's getting started that she didn't have to go out and get overwhelmed on how do I create a course? How do I create the thumbnails? How do I create the scripts? How do I do all of this additional stuff because she'd already done videos on YouTube and she's got a logical, powerful, straightforward way to teach something in her campus. So this is a real simple way to get started. If you find yourself struggling with creating courses or videos and you're just wondering how the heck can I get started, don't be afraid to do a mini course or a micro course where you have three or four video lessons, you add a tip and a tail to it, you add a case study or how it's applied, and you give them some next steps and you're on your way to the races. Remember, this isn't a course business, that's short-term thinking, you're in the education business. Build out your content, share your story, and be able to help people go from where they are to where they wanna be. My name is James, trainingsites.io forward slash join my community, my privately branded campus. If you want to help, start building and growing your education business. And of course, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the, hit the button to get notified whenever a new video comes out because I do them one or two a day. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be back maybe later today with another video.